Hey guys, welcome back to Basement Pedal Demos. But first, let's play a little. So we're just doing a quick unboxing video and first impressions kind of thing. Um, if you like this thing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I want to take a quick second to thank the like six or seven new people that subscribed in the last uh, video. Uh, super grateful for you guys. Uh, honestly, I am. All right, so I've got four unboxing videos for you today. The amps reason real quick. Uh, we're going to use the Mesa Express 550 and this Mojo Tone Vibroverb 210, uh, both in stereo. I got a radio Big Shot ABY on the table. First one, or Eno Music Co. Dot, comma, limited. It is in Ottawa. See the box. Uh, I gotta say, these things came in pretty quick. It comes in a bag. Oh. And like, a nice one. This thing here was like 30 bucks. Uh, also in the box, we've got instructions. Fuck that. We don't need that. Oh, I love this. We have a 3M rubber back. So if you don't want to stick it on your pedal board, cut to size. But we got 3M hook and loop. That. That right there. That is customer service. I tell you right now, I'm happy with what I see so far. So inside the bag, let's see what we got. These things came really well packaged. Uh, I was really confused though, because I spent the last two days waiting for it to show up at my door, not expecting it to go to my uh, my pop, my uh, mailbox. So I was really confused. Oh, look, we got some silica gel. Bag. In Canada, it's legal to smoke weed, so you know what that's gonna get used for. Solid switch. Pretty cool enclosure. Bit of pink and some weird military Olive green color. We're gonna do individual demos of all these things. Oh, I have power. That's a good sign. So uh, let's hear. This is the Express by itself. This is the Viber Verb. Both of them together. I'm gonna have to go back and learn how to use this. Uh, it sounds pretty noisy though. So we might not use it very much, but we're gonna dive in the manual in another video and see what we can do with it. So the next pedal. The next pedal we have, Mosky. Now, I did a, a lot of these pedals are Mosky pedals on this uh, order because I wanna do a pedal board for taking down to bars and stuff with cheap stuff so I can utilize the Red Fox. I got a message on Red Fox video from a subscriber and for the life of me, I can't remember your name. Although, thank you for subscribing, you know who you are. And uh, he asked me if I was still using it. And honestly, I probably use that more than most of the pedals in the single, like, uh, power jack. We're trying to build a pedal board base around that. So this one here is the SHO Booster. Put a picture up here of what I think it is. Because when I hear SHO, I think of a B-Bex pedal. You know, it's a Bebex clone, I'm assuming. So let's see what it looks like. Same kind of uh, box, you know. This one doesn't have a bag. This is kind of a sad thing. And there's no instructions. And it's a single knot booster, so do you... Chuck that. Comes bubble wrap, though. That is very green. 
first impressions. It's got a single knob gain, uh, recessed, good, uh, feels like a good switch. Uh, let's, uh, let's plug it in and see what we got. Can this one be a little less noisy, maybe? I gotta try and make this video like 10 minutes long, so, uh, I have a, an LED switch. My question is now, does it have a crackle knob? So far, we got some, uh, we got some, we have some hope here. We're doing good. That's, that's two for two. Shocker. It's also a boost. This one is also a Mosky, but it's uh, especially like a really heavy pedal. You know, they use it as an always on pedal. I think it was called a hippie booster or something like that. I'm going to put a picture up because it's actually a clone. It's, it's a lot of, it's really cool, but this one. Like the other one doesn't look anything like what it's trying to be. The Eno people, they uh, they got it right. Uh, bubble wrap again. You might be mistaken. It does look a lot like the EP booster. What it's what it's trying to be a clone of. Um, this one's called a BP booster. I have power and I have a an obnoxiously bright LED. This is one of the reasons why I did not like its counterpart. And this is why I don't like some of the LEDs that are on the market because they're obnoxiously bright. This one here it's it's it's, it's manageable, okay? We have power. So, uh let's hear just the vibraverb. <laughs> I got these pedals because I want to build a pedal board just so I can grab the vibra burp and go. No real noise. It, it, they're, they're all metal enclosures too. That's really good to know. It works. Wait for the video to come out. This is the one that I've heard the most complaints about. So I purposely left this one in the packaging it came in. So we're gonna unbox this one completely. And we have a Rona chisel to start tearing away at this fucking packaging. I planned well in advance. Chisel away from yourselves, people. This is a dull chisel at that. Do not try what I do at home, ever. If you have kids, do not let them watch this part of the video. Can we all just talk about the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer that leaked yesterday? Uh, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm super excited for it. Authentic. Been MSG back there, by the way. 
I love that thing. But we grabbed the strap today because the strap felt appropriate for some of these pedals. Now I have a layer of bubble wrap that I am pulling off of this. And look, it's like fucking past the fucking parcel. You know, you're four and you went to a birthday party and you fucking had to play these stupid games to see if you want a prize. It's called fucking past the parcel. And that's what we have here. So let's take off the next layer. Finally. That was done on purpose because when I first opened up the uh, the packaging for the Super Hard On Boost, the show boost, I, I was super impressed by the packaging and they came from the same person who shipped them. Uh, so this one here is the Moski Silver Horse. I wanted to show you how well these things were packaged when they came. That was super impressive. All right, so mini pedal enclosure. No bag. Why? How is it the ENO or the Ottawa people that I got this pedal from that was $30, $10 cheaper than the rest of these? How can they throw in a bag and you guys can't? So, bubble wrap, again, first impressions. I love the silver sparkle enclosure. I mean, you guys have seen these, they're everywhere. Soft click switch, like that. Um, I'm thinking I might do a shootout between the silver horse and the Nux Golden Horseman. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below because I am very curious. They both have the two modes on them, so. When you work overnights and you're trying to shoot videos before you go to work, Monster Energy saves the day. Cheers, by the way. Summer's almost over, but fuck it. Ugh, piss warm. Clean signal. <laughs> This was a $12 purchase on Amazon. The Swift tuner pedal that Ryan Burke at 60 Cycle Home did a uh, video of. It was like a super nano pedal that this whole thing is the switch. It's really cool. It's actually really accurate too. If you guys want to see me build a pedal board uh, with these pedals, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I want to know your good experiences and your bad experiences with pedal orders on uh, Amazon. So, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys, and stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see when I upload that video. All right, guys, cheers. <laughs>